Okay, all right, so today uh, we're doing unit eight, lesson three on triangles. So there's a lot to cover today. So what I'm gonna do is uh, sh show you what you need to know and then just cover a little bit of everything. So if you need to rewind and watch the video again, uh, you should do so, okay? All right, so we're talking about triangles. So we're gonna do two things today. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to identify a triangle, all right? Meaning, how do you call a triangle? Because there are different types of triangles, right? So that's the first challenge, is how to name a triangle, all right? And the second of which is how to find the area of a triangle, okay? So there's a lot going on there. All right, so, so first, uh, there are two ways you can name a triangle. One is you look at the outside of a triangle by looking at the sides of a triangle, right? The three sides of a triangle. Uh, so first of all, if all three sides are the same, all right, notice, right, I put a slash on all three sides. That's trying to tell you, what I'm trying to say is all three sides are equal when I put one slash. Now, I could do two slashes like this also, same thing, all right? As long as all three sides have the equal amount of slashes, all right, we're trying to communicate that all three sides are equal. So when all three sides are equal, the triangle is said to be equilateral. So lateral, lat means side, equal means equal. So the sides are equal, all right? Uh, the second, uh, a second situation that you may have is where two of the sides are equal. So these two sides are equal and that one isn't. So here we got two sides that are equal, the third one isn't. So when there are only two sides that are equal, they are said to be an isosceles triangle, okay? And lastly, what you will have potentially is that you're gonna have a triangle where all three sides are different. So, right, notice how I'm using different number of slashes for each of the sides. So they are said to be, when all three sides are different, they are said to be scaling. So you might want to write this down, all right? Again, all three sides equal, equal lateral, Two, only two sides are equal, isosceles, and all three sides being different, a scalene. Now, the second way we name a triangle is by looking at the angles inside. So for example, if all three angles are less than 90 degrees, so this is a 90 degree angle, right? It's a 90 degree angle, that's a right angle. So if all three angles are less than 90 degrees, meaning more slanted, than a right angle, we say that the triangle is a uh, uh, acute triangle. Acute means sharp. Okay, so meaning all three angles are very sharp. So that's what we mean by acute. Now, do you have a second situation where a triangle, one of the angles is a right angle, meaning this angle is a 90 degree angle. So in that case, we are gonna call this triangle a right triangle. Lastly, sometimes you're gonna have an angle that is actually more than 90 degrees. So in this case, the angle is more than 90 degrees and we have a name for that, all right? We call this an obtuse triangle. Okay, so that's the naming convention. Now, I also got a bit of news for you. So when you name a triangle, it's not just only by the side and only by the angle. Uh, almost always, you can name a triangle by saying the side and the angle at the same time. Meaning, you can, you can have a, uh, a triangle that is an equilateral acute 
or acute equilateral, same thing. You can have a isosceles right triangle. Uh, you can have a, um, let's see, you can have a scalene, obtuse scalene triangle, all right, so on and so forth. Or you can have an acute scalene triangle like that. So it's, it's a different, uh, what, different possible combinations. So let's try this exercise together. So here it says, match the name of the angle with the triangle shown. So let's try this first. Uh, let's see, isosceles. Which one of these is an isosceles triangle? Take a look. All right, pause if you need to. So again, isosceles, only two sides are equal. Which triangle shows you that only two sides are equal? Yeah, E, right? Because these both are six and that one's a five. So, so E is the isosceles triangle. Now, what about equilateral? What do you think? Yeah. D, right? All three sides are eight centimeters. Scalene, which is the only one where all three sides are different. Yep, F. All right, what about acute? Which, which of these three triangles is acute? Yeah, C, right? Because all three angles are less than 90 degrees. Right triangle? Yep, this one right here, right? So, that's A, and last one, obtuse. This angle is greater than 125 degrees. So it's, oops, up. what's going on here? Well, come on, I can't write this. Uh, the computer's a little slow, that's why. Okay, right, aye, aye, aye. B, obtuse. Okay, moving down, all right? I'm kind of stuck here. So, in order to name a triangle completely, I need to use, Name one category by side and one category by angle. So let's let's attempt to, to do this. All right, look at A, right? Look, it's a right triangle. And what, what do you think of the three sides? Do they all look equal? None of them look equal or only two sides are equal? Yeah, all three sides are different. So remember, what is a triangle where all three sides are different? Yeah, scalene, right? So given the right angle, this is a scalene right triangle and i'm going to draw a triangle just to say triangle a scalene right triangle or right scalene either way doesn't matter how about b now we already know that this was obtuse right look at the three sides do they look the same or do they look different okay now as far as i'm concerned they're a little different i know some of you might say mr Ring, like these two sides this one and this one, they look equal, but they're not. So this is actually a scalene. So I would say that this is a scalene obtuse triangle. All right, and then we'll see. All three sides are, the, all three angles are less than 90 and all three sides are different, right? So by the way, just so you know, if all three sides are different, I mean, sorry, if all the angles have a different measurement, that means all sides have different measurements. All right, just a tip. So now, what am I trying to say here? All right, so the three sides are different and they're both all less than 90. So it's an, a scalene acute or acute scalene triangle. All right. I don't know why the, the writing is not very good. I think the computer is kind of kind of slow today. All right, D, all three sides are equal, all three angles are equal, and they're all less than 90. So what do you think this is called? Right, equilateral acute. So acute, right? All three angles are less than 90, and then equilateral. So it's an acute equilateral triangle. Okay, two more. Look at these two, right? These two sides are equal, so I know it's isosceles. What about the angles? Are they all less than 90? Yeah, so this is called an acute isosceles triangle. Okay, lastly, all three sides are different, so all three angles are different, but this one's obtuse, right? So all three sides are different. What do we call those? 
Yeah, scaling, right? This angle is greater than 90. What do we call those? Obtuse. So this is an obtuse scaling triangle. Okay? All right. Now, normally this is where the lesson would end, but because, um, because of the nature of the lesson and the length of the unit, all right? Now we're going to have to talk about how to find the area of triangle. So if you want to pause right now and take a break, uh, you can, because we're moving into a different direction altogether, okay? So if you want, you can pause here, all right? Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to keep going. Okay, all right, so now that we've uh, talked about the naming conventions of a triangle, let's talk about how to find the area of triangles, all right? So here we have a triangle, all right? To find a triangle, you have to do uh, one thing. You have to measure the base, which is represented by letter B, multiply it by the height, the letter H, and then you take half of that. So in other words, the area of triangle is this. The area of triangle is half of base times the height. All right, written in letters, it's half times B times H. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you. Now, let's see. Yeah, so what I also want you to realize, right? Depending on the different types of triangles, you might have, a, you might have some difficulty finding what the height is. So here we have like this super basic right triangle. This would be the base, right? This would be the base, this would be the base. So the, the line is flat. Let's just call it that way. We call the base, and then this is the height, all right, in this instance. Uh, in the second triangle, the height's here. In other words, the height, isn't, the height isn't one definition. The height is something like this. It's the height, it's the, let me think, let me think clearly. It's the, it's the, it's the distance from the base. Again, the height is the distance from the base to the highest point of the triangle that forms a right angle. Okay, I'll repeat. The height of a triangle is the distance from the base to the highest point of a given triangle that forms a 90 degree angle. Okay, got that? All right. So in this case, this is the height here. In this case, this is the height. What well, happened now? I can't write. In this case, this is the height. And in this case, this is the height. All right, this one's a bit strange, I know, but that's the height, all right? Okay, now, knowing that, let's do some examples. So here, we have a base of 17. Man, the pen is not really not working right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's really, it's really glitchy. All right, let me try again. This is not good. Okay, all right. So the base is 17. The height is 10. Right, so what's the formula again? Base times height divided by two, or base times height times one half. All right, the lights just turn off. Huh? Okay. All right, let me try again. So again, base, ay ay ay, base times height times one half or base times height divided by two. Okay, so we'll take 17 times 10, right? So let me fill out now. This is again why you need to know how to substitute. Okay. Right, because here I'm, t I'm substituting 17 for B, 10 for H, right? So one, 17 times 10 is 170, 170 divided by 2, what's that? Yep, 85, okay? So it's 85, now inches 
because we're talking about the area is inches squared or square inches. Okay, all right, let's try another one. So the base here is two, height is nine, so base times height. So that's two times nine divided by two, 18 divided by two, that's nine, nine square kilometers. Okay, one last one. Base is 10, height is six, right? So base is 10, the height is six. So 10 times six over two, 60 over two, 30 centimeter square or square centimeters. Okay, and that's how you do it. Now, to help you remember this, uh, I'm gonna give you a little, another short lesson here. So think of it like this. If I were to draw a rectangle, and I would ask you, because this will help you memorize the formula, even though the formula, by the way, is provided on the state test, okay? Um, so think about this, right? How do you find the area of a rectangle? Right, you do length times width, right? So what I'm gonna say now is, imagine for a second that we don't use this anymore. But instead, I'm gonna use a different uh, <laughs> nomenclature, which means a different way of calling the length. Instead of calling the length, the length L, I'm gonna call it the base. Instead of calling the uh, width, width, I'm gonna call it the height, right? Because, I mean, you can, you can understand why I'm doing this, right? Base, height. And let's say, right, you wanna know what the area is of, a, of this rectangle. How would how would the the how would this change right here? What I just erased? Well, how would that change? Yeah, so it'll just be base times height, right? Now, here's the magical part of this. If I were to cut this in half, what shape what shapes do you see now? Yeah, you see two triangle, right? Two triangles, right? So that means if you take the base and the height and you multiply them. But instead of just keeping that, you divide it by two, you get a triangle, which is exactly what it is. A, 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 a triangle, these triangles, it's just half of a rectangle. Look at it like that, right? So that's how we derive the formula here, okay? It's just half of a triangle, which is base times height or length times width, okay? So if you know that, that should really help you. Okay, let's continue. So let me use a different color now. So you try these on your own, all right? Uh, whether you use a calculator or not, doesn't matter. You can use your calculator or not, all right? So, and then we'll go over these. Okay, all right, so what do we do here? Base times height, right? So base times height divided by two. So eight times 4.5 divided by two. What would that be? Let's see. 18, all right, 18 miles square or square miles, okay? Don't forget the unit, all right? It's very important you write the unit to the second power. Uh, next one, again, base times height divided by two, so let's see what that is. It's 4.75, okay. All right, again, I have the benefit of using a calculator, so hopefully you do too. What about this one? Base times height divided by two. Four point seven. Okay. All right. Four point seven square yards or yards square. That's a two. Okay. All right. Now here's a little extra for you. Should you feel inclined to do so? All right. Try this one. Now look at this. What did I do that make that is different from any triangles that we've done in our lesson today? Yeah, I flipped this upside down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recreate this. And I'm gonna flip this upside down. So look, right, again, we got our triangle. You see the, 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 the right angle here, right? So that's the base, that's the height. So base times height divided by two, what would that be? What's 14 times eight? Uh, 14 times eight is uh, 
112. 112 divided by 2, what is that? 56? Yep. 56. 56 what? Millimeters square. All right. And that's it. That's the lesson. Now, how long was that? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay. It's not great, but I think this will do. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for watching and uh, hope you learn uh, how to name triangles and uh, find the area of a triangle today. Okay. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Gee, that was so good.